Hey guys, Sam here from Technologetic, and today we're taking a look at the differences in two different ways you can get connected with your device. On one hand, we've got mobile data or cellular data, and then on the other hand, we've got Wi-Fi. What are the main differences and which one's right for you? Introduced in 1998, Wi-Fi provides a short-range connectivity across your house to connect personal devices such as iPads, iPhones, Kindles, laptops, tablets, uh, TVs even. The list goes on and on. Lots of devices connect via Wi-Fi. It has the 30 meter range, so from the point of your Wi-Fi router, which I'll go into in further depth later on in this video, it extends about 30 meters out until your connection starts dropping out or you start losing speed. It's provided generally by your home internet provider, which is the same person that traditionally would have provided your home phone provider. And it comes in through a cable through the street into your house and into a central point where your Wi-Fi router is to distribute the Wi-Fi across a 30 meter radius from that point across your house. So on the other hand, you've got mobile and cellular data, which can also be referred to as 4G, 3G, LTE, all these technologies basically mean the same thing. And that's how you can connect to the internet or send text messages or send phone calls from more than 30 meters away from that Wi-Fi router. So for example, when you leave the house and go to the shops or anything like that, you're able to connect to this network using pretty much any device that has a SIM card. So an iPad with a SIM card, obviously phones, and even some laptops have SIM cards trays in them. And these services are provided by the same people who give you your mobile phone number. So let's look at the differences. Think about your data usage as like a cup of water. So every time you scroll through Instagram or read a news article, that cup of water slowly fills up some more. When you watch a video or something with a lot of moving images, that cup fills up more quicker. And then when you read something, let's say a news article that's just text, it'll fill up slower. This fills up more and more and more until you hit the top of the cup, which is your mobile data limit, and that's generally measured in gigabytes. With your mobile data connection, and remember this is the one with any device with a SIM card, so for example your phone or your iPad with cellular connectivity, this cup is quite small and it costs a lot to upgrade it to a bigger cup or upgrade your data. On the other hand, with your home Wi-Fi, you get a much larger cup or even a bucket, and it costs you a lot less to upgrade that bucket to a bigger size bucket and some buckets might even be bottomless, and this is known as unlimited data. So because your mobile data provider has to provide this connection to you wherever you go, as well as to millions of other people at the same time, they can charge a lot more for this service, and that's why it's more expensive. On the other hand, your home broadband provider, it's a lot easier to provide you with this connection because you've already got a phone line or internet connection to your house, so this makes it a lot cheaper. So let's say you watch 10 YouTube videos a month. This might use one gigabyte of data. So your mobile broadband provider can provide this one gigabyte to you for $20 a month. But for that same $20, your home broadband provider can give you 100 gigabytes, which is 100 times the amount of YouTube videos you can watch. But you can only watch these videos in your house, whereas your mobile data provider lets you watch these videos anywhere you go. So for example, on a train, in a long car ride, or even at the shops. At some point in the future, the cost per gigabyte for mobile data will come down a lot, and it might even make sense to only add mobile data and not even worry about a home broadband connection. But we're a long way off that point now. There's also the argument around speed, whereas home Wi-Fi traditionally was a lot quicker than mobile data, well now we're really reaching a um, kind of equality with those two technologies, and the difference in speed is really very minimal between mobile data and home Wi-Fi's. So thanks for watching this technologetic video about Wi-Fi versus mobile data. Hopefully that little cups analogy helped you out with your understanding of the concepts, and you know when to use these two different technologies in different situations. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to Technologetic for more great videos like this.